Hey guys, welcome back to politics. I'm Sushil. So in this tutorial, we'll be creating this. So let's get started. Alright, let's start this tutorial by creating a dice. Before we create our dice, I want you to delete the lamp and the camera. And now, let's make pokes on the dice. So in order to make pokes on the dice, we have to select our cube and go to edit mode. And after you go to edit mode by pressing tab, you have to look up this. So in order to look at this, we have to press Ctrl R. Then you can see a yellow line on the cube. After you see the yellow line, scroll the scroll wheel four times, and you'll get a look at. And you have to do this on both the sides. And after we look at this, we'll have something like this. So now we have to select the faces which want to poke. So press 3 on your keyboard so that you go to face select mode and select the faces that you want to poke. So at the top, you will select the middle face and at the size 2 and select respectively. So once you selected the faces, now we have to bevel it. So press Ctrl B and just bevel a little bit so that we get the borders. Now once you've done that, select the inner faces. After selecting the faces, press E to extrude and S to scale so that it extrudes inwards. Now you can see we successfully poked our faces. But we have a problem, and that is the pokes are not round, they are more like a boxy. To fix this, go to object mode and we'll add a modifier called subdivision surface and just increase the subdivision to 4. Now you can see our dice is curved edged and the pokes are round. Now you can see we successfully modeled our dice. Now we have to texture it. So, in order to texture it, Go to render mode or object mode and after you go to render mode or object mode just press that little arrow icon and uncheck the scene lights and scene word so that it uses the default SGRIs for light source and now go to material properties and click new now click on the base color and set the base color as you prefer I'm gonna keep it blue now we got a problem with this. As you can see, when we change our base color, the entire dice is changing its color, including the pokes. And we want our pokes to be white. And in order to fix that, click on plus and press new. Now select the dice and go to edit mode. Uh, as you go to edit mode, you can see these three buttons pop up. Now let's disable our subsurf modifier. In order to disable our subsurf modifier only in Vport, we have to uncheck that monitor icon. And after disabling, if you just select one face and go to material properties and select material 2 and click on assign, the color of that face will turn to white. Now we'll do that same step to all faces respectively. And after doing that, if you go back to object mode and enable the subsurf modifier, you will get like this. That's because we haven't colored our borders. So in order to color our borders, we have to go to edit mode and make sure that the cursor is on that face and press alt and select so that the whole border is selected. Now we will assign the material too to that borders. And after assigning, if you go back to object mode and enable the subsurf modifier, you will get the fully colored pokes. And we'll do this to all the borders respectively. Now let's just move this up and add a plane. So press Shift A, Mesh, Plane. And just press S to scale it. And now let's duplicate our dice. So in order to duplicate our dice, let's press shift D so that we get uh, another dice 
Now, if you go to material properties and try to change the base color, both of our dice will change its color. So to avoid this, you have to click the cancel button and press new. Now if you try to change the color of the dice, it will change its color independently. So let's keep it to red. And that's it, we have modeled our dice. By the way, if you enjoying this video, make sure you subscribe Politings and leave a thumbs up. Now let's make our dice fall down. In order to make our dice fall down, we have to select our dice and go to Physics Properties and enable Rigid Body. Now select the plane and enable Rigid Body to the plane as well. But over here, we're gonna change the type from Active to Passive. Now when you hit the spacebar, our dice will fall down. So in order to make the dice bounce, we have to increase the bounciness. So expand surface response and increase the bounciness to one of the plane. And now select the dice and set the bounciness to 0.5. Now when you play, our dice will bounce. Now let's create a scene for this. So go to shading and set the object type to world. Now you can see there are two nodes and I want you to delete the background node and add a, a texture called environmental texture. Now select your SGRI. This specific SGRI link will be in the description so you could download this and use the same SGRI on your project. And after selecting the SGRI, just connect the color to surface. Now you can see that nothing happens. That's because we are in object mode. So in order to see a change, go to rendered mode. Now you can see our SGRI is acting on our viewport. What it's doing is that it's giving a light source. Now if you set the render engine as cycles, it will look more better and realistic because cycle uses ray tracing and EV just uses the AI so cycle looks more realistic but it entirely depends on you and your config so if you have a very good PC you could use cycles and if you have a budget friendly PC then you can use EVs but it really depends on the project you're working on because in some of the projects EV looks better in some of the projects, cycles will look better. And the best example for this is my Rasinger tutorial that uh, EV looks better than cycles. So make sure you go check that out. Now let's go back to layout and set our camera. So find a good view on your viewport and add a camera. So press Shift A and camera. And after finding a good view on your viewport, press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0. Or if you don't have a numpad, then you can go to uh, View, Align View, Align Active Camera to View. And another great tip is that if you want to move the camera in a different way, you can go to View, Navigation and walk the Navigation, which enables the WASD keys to move our camera which is quite easy to move than using the G and the axis. And so now let's give our material properties to our plane. So go to material properties, click on new and set the transmission to one, Iowa to 1.7 and the roughness to 0.1 so that it looks more like a glass. And that's it. All there is left to do is to render this as a video file. To render this as a video file, go to Output Properties and under Output, set the file destination and set the file format as you prefer and just hit the Render render Animation button and that's it. So by the way, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe Politings. Also, subscribe our Instagram channel called yt.politings so that you get pre-notified. -not pre Thanks for watching guys.